Hey, what's up, fam? Thank y'all for tuning in once again. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so every time I drop a video, you will be the first to know about it. Hey, let's talk about Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Now, I don't think I have covered any stories about her. There have been like 50, 11 of them out there. I think it started off where someone was doing an investigation on spending because they saw that she went out of town and using taxpayers' money. Now, this has been a big thing lately, and I think it's covered, but people don't want to, you know, cover it like, man, you know, hit the, hit the point that, what they call the, the elephant in the room. You got the mayor of New Orleans. You have... Who is that? Fonnie Willis out there in Georgia. There was another mayor who hired her husband for security detail and paid him cr crazy money. And, that, and you also have Tiffany Henyard. Now, this is one reason why when some when someone in power or someone with, with uh, you know, out in public does good works, I think it should be I think it should be applauded. I think it should be put out there because there's too much negativity out there. And, and, and I just named like four people and there are probably like hundreds of, of black female mayors out there. But then you got these democratic cities that are ran by, you know, black women or Democrat, democratic women. And the cities are going to hell in the hand bash. Now, do I blame them? Well, it grown. Yes, I will blame them. But also, you got to understand that there are people in power that are in higher positions than they are. And so you got to know that there are people out here in these positions who have been in politics, in law, their whole lives, their whole adult lives. And they, and, and they know the statistics. They know things that can happen, the possibility of things that can happen. And they allow it anyway. And I, I just firmly believe that they allow these things to happen because eventually they're gonna wanna change the rules. They're gonna wanna change the system, especially this whole voting thing. Probably take it back to like, I guess justify the maintaining of the electoral college, especially when it comes to the presidency. Cause you see too many times that people vote for popularity. You know, they say that a lot of women voted for Bill Clinton because he was like handsome. A lot of women, black people voted for uh, Barack Obama for president because he was black for the main thing. And he was a handsome looking guy. And he had a black wife. Had nothing to do with the policies that they ran on. And that's the problem going all here. You can take it back to elementary school with voting and it's all a popularity contest. People go get up there to the pool, uh, the podium, say outlandish things that they know they can't do. And the principals and the school staff know that free, you know, longer lunches, longer recesses, longer PE periods, no more history classes. They know they can't, they know that stuff can't be done, but hey, it's like real politics, like real life politics. They get up there, say what they are gonna do. Then once they get in the office, half of it if none of it very little of it gets done unless it's financed by big donors but anyway that's a whole nother story but my but i want to get to this story here off of tiffany henyard i think it's all i think the walls of jericho have been you know marched around six and a half times and so I think it's close, real close to a lot of these people, including uh, Sister Tiffany. It's all about to come crumbling. And this is pretty much just a summary of everything. But let's get into this story. This is from foxnews.com and it reads, Controversial mayor launches wild tirade at officials for attacking a black woman in power over her spending. Quote, I'm the leader, Tiffany Henry declared, arguing people wish to hear from her rather than trustees that don't do nothing and run their mouth. Now, this is definitely 
the words of someone who is backed in the corner knowing that it's, it's pretty much over. And so now you don't know what to do. You're desperate. So you're going to grab a straws. And you notice like most, of, like every last one of these cases it comes to her, the, the, uh, the, the DA in Georgia, the mayor of New Orleans. First thing they do is say, you're attacking me because I'm a black woman. Amazing. Don't talk about the issues. Don't talk about why this is being, why this, this in, these investigations are happening in the first place. It's, you're attacking me because I'm a black woman. Not trying to dispel anything. Just, you go to the gender and the race and you think it's all going to be over, but people are tired of that now. People want you to stand on your marriage, stand on your square. If this is what you did, claim it and be about that life and take your punishment. Now you want to be the, you know, first black woman is first black democratic mayor, DA, governor, whatever, the, whatever president, whatever you want to do. Okay. That's fine. But as I said in other videos, when you get in the positions of power or authority or where you can control people's lives, you have to be without spot or blemish as the scriptures say, because if you got skeletons in your closet, man, when they come out, it's going to look 10 times worse on you than it would somebody like me. Cause don't nobody know me, but like I said, I'm not in no position of politics. So I, I'm not gonna say I can get away with it, but it can be swept under the rug a lot quicker, a lot sooner than someone like this, because this can be dragged on for years. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, first time reading through it. So we are going to decipher it together. Democratic mayor, the Democrat, and all these women are Democrats. Pay attention. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna put it out there, y'all. Y'all either gonna like it or not. You're gonna attack me here. Y'all attack me about videos I've done on child support that really didn't deserve it because they just, y'all just didn't pay attention to what I was saying. But anyway, Democratic mayor of Dalton, Illinois, Tiffany Henry launched a tirade at fellow officials during a live stream meeting on Monday after questions were raised about her controversial spending and transparency. WGN investigates reported that. Henry's opponents on a local board said they don't trust that money is going to where it's intended, so they blocked attempts to pay bills that don't come with detailed explanation. You know, you pay a light bill when it comes in the mail. Like some of us just, you know, we'll pay it. Let's go back to like, I remember when telephone, when people had landlines and, you know, long distance were, was expensive. But they used to have these programs where you know you dial a 10 10 220 or 10 10 and you could pay 10 cents a minute. Right? So, but it's also it was included in your phone bill. So when your phone bill came, your paper bill came in the mail, you read it and you look at it, and you will see numbers that you dial, and then you'll see a number that look close to the number that you dial. And that charge would be maybe 10 cents or maybe a dollar. And you overlook it. But then you think about it, you say, wait a minute. If AT&T or Verizon, whoever is the local phone company, if they have 1 million people subscribe to their company and they do 1 million people like that and they charge 1 million people a dollar and everybody overlooks it, that's a million dollars extra that they made off of everybody and nobody, none the wiser, as they would say. So I would call, I would call a phone company and say, hey, I don't know this number. This is like a fraudulent trial. I need to dispute this. And they would take it off. Yeah, it's only a dollar for me, but that's a million dollars for you. And if everybody done, everybody needs to do that. But anyway, man, you know me, I go, I go all off on tie race. Uh, I'll just say, Fox News Digital previously reported that Henyard has been living like a royal with a combined salary of nearly $300,000 and frequent use of beauty vendors despite the median income of Illinois' town being $24,000. In addition to a hefty, hefty paycheck, Henyard has been criticized for how she uses the town's credit card. So you're making $200,000 and, and the average person in your town makes $24,000, make $300,000 and you're making $24,000 and you can just try to justify that? How can you justify that? Henry slammed her fellow officials at the Monday meeting 
and declare, you all forget I'm the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. You all ain't learned that yet. The mayor, not the trustees that don't do nothing. The on, they only run them out. You all don't do no work, no work. And I'm laughing because of this picture they got her, but she's upset, man, looking like Cruella DeVille up in this song gone. At one point during the meeting, Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood asked, how about you be a good leader and bring proposals to the forefront so not just us, but residents and everyone else in America know how the money is being spent. Norwood was party to a lawsuit that accused the mayor of actions that amounted to fraud according to a complaint reviewed by Fox News Digital. Later during the meeting, Henry Hinyard, Hinyard proclaimed, y'all got false narratives out there and y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. Y'all black, y'all black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. But yet, it has been shown that you have flown to Vegas using the tax pay or the city or credit card going on trips for no reason but yet a lot of things are not being taken care of in your own city but what like i said earlier what you come out with is i'm a black woman in power and y'all attacking me i wonder how many brothers can use that you know as much as i don't like chicken hawk brandon johnson up there in chicago I don't think he ever said, y'all are attacking me because I'm black. I'm a black man in power. I don't think er uh, Eric Adams up there in New York is hollering, y'all are attacking me and want to see my downfall because I'm a black man in power, oh, you know, over this migrant crisis. But for some reason, the first thing that our sisters do is holler that y'all got to understand, see, this is. I believe her election and her being appointed to this position was a popularity contest. I would like to do more research and see how, who voted, how many, you know, blacks, whites, men, women, elderly, young voters voted in that election that she got in, you know, and how big of a margin did she win by? Because I think her and a lot of black women maybe even black men too you get these positions because one nobody else wanted and two because the black women and black women feel empowered i'm not mad at black women for sticking together to put one of their own one of our sisters in power not mad at it it shows that we can all come together for the greater good so supposedly greater good of the community. The problem is that these people that y'all putting into power are not being fully vetted. And so they street like you are, the hood, like you're from the same little hood, went y'all grew up together, went to school together. They out there in the community at the barbecues, you know, twerking and having fun, whatever, playing spades with you. So they say, I'm running for mayor. You say, okay, hey, she's black. Maybe we need something different. I can understand that. But the thing about the election process is i've always said you go you vote on policy not party and not the person so i would love to see what narrative she ran on to become mayor of dalton wgn investigates reported that it has cataloged tens of thousands of taxpayers dollars Spent on trips, meals, and more by Henya and all and her allies in Dalton and on the Thornton Township board where she's a supervisor. So that's how she make it three hundred dollars. She's a supervisor of the Thornton Township, I think is like the county, and then she's a mayor of Dalton. So put those two together, she's making like three hundred grand. Crazy man, crazy. The same report went to went on to say township credit cards records show Henya and other officials spent more than $67,000 on trips to Portland, Austin, Atlanta, and New York City. Many of the flights were first class. So were the accommodations. In Atlanta, Henyard and her team stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel, costing taxpayers more than $9,000. In New York, the same bill came to $13,000. The problem with that is, Dalton is a small town. 
who probably have a has a budget of maybe just a few million dollars and she out here just spending money on trips frivolously when they, when they don't have money like that well shouldn't nobody do that they don't care how much money your city got Kenya has reportedly refused to explain the specific purpose of these trips or the highly priced services she employs but appears to have claimed such scrutiny qualifies her qualifies as an attack on her leadership and this woman got like billboards with her name on it when she doing like food giveaways and helping people pay bills. Her name is at the top of everything. It had nothing to do with the city. It's all about her. This woman is narcissistic, like seriously. Everything we do is for the people, but we're under attack. We get scrutinized by the media, she said. For what? Loving on the people, showing that they matter to us. We going through the fires for y'all. The Illinois, Attorney General has reportedly given the foundation until the middle of February to demonstrate how it spends its money or face legal action. Boy, she gonna hit dog, hit dogs, holler. Now, she actually got up at a council meeting and quoted some quoted some scenes from a scene from New Jack City. Like nobody know nothing about nothing. When Nino Brown was talking about, you know, who let this this mold into the into the into the uh the family whatever seen him over years ago i can't you know remember it verbatim but but in reality she reminds me of a freaking drug dealer like really like she's a, a like, like like a hood chick like a d girl she uses the money for her benefit hurting the people you know so she can get on these trips put up these billboards uh, live lavishly, make a lot of money, hire this security detail that not even the president of the United States has. But then she go out and hand out turkeys. And hand out bottles of water. And get out there and hold, you know, does a walk for cancer or whatever she did to walk for. You know, little stuff that make her look, that she thinks, you know, makes her look good for simple folk. In her time, not, I'm not that's not what I'm thinking. I'm just saying that's how people like her think. Like, oh, these simple folk, I can just do these little things, little, give them little trinkets, and they're okay. I can sell dope in my community, you know, you know, all of you know, crack, heroin, fentanyl, whatever the case, fentanyl laced, uh, uh, weed, stuff like that. You know, create drug addicts, dope fiends. People that's gonna OD, people with kids, children, and their children, you know, put them on it too. They be out here walking the stroll, you know, trying to get that money for me. And what I'm gonna do in return is I'm gonna go to Foot Locker and buy all the kids LeBron James shoes that nobody else gonna buy anyway. I'm gonna buy them LeBron James shoes. I'm gonna buy them some Jordans for school. I'm gonna get them all haircuts. I'm gonna get them backpacks with school supplies in them. I'm gonna hand out turkeys during Thanksgiving and Christmas. Hand out toys, hand out bikes during Christmas. That's what I'm going to do with the money that I earned from them destroying my community. This is nothing different. This is nothing different at all, but this is not going to end well for this young lady. Sometimes you got what they say. You got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, right? And I think she just need to go ahead and get ahead of this. I don't know who her PR person. She probably don't have a PR person. I'm quite sure people like this kind of, you know, Umar Johnson. Prime example, Umar Johnson. That brother is educated. That brother, you know, sold a bill of goods. Man, I admit years ago I was on with him because he talked a good game, said what he was going to do. And he came out with the facts and the studies. And he knew about the, you know, the, damn, what's it called? MS. Dang it, can't forget to remember that book. But it's a dang, some kind of like a medical book on diagnosis, like mental diagnosis and stuff. God dang it, I can't think. But anyway, and he schools, you know, scholar had all these degrees, a doctor, got a doctorate, blah, blah, blah. Playing on words, whatever. And I, you know, believed in the brother and supported the brother. He even went to go see him speak when he came to Dallas one time from years, some years ago. But years have passed and I have not seen him do anything supposedly bought this school uh 20 years ago and it's still in renovation because they can't get the heat and air conditioning working it might well should have just raised the building and built a new one he could have had that done a whole lot quicker and probably cheaper than what he anyway this was remind me of somebody that's narcissistic believe that they are 
the shiznit and can't nobody attack them because of the little things that they've done or said all the knowledge that they have for their people. But like I say, they don't have PR people who are helping them, who are like guiding them. And she definitely doesn't. And she's going to crash and burn. I hope all that money that she got, that she invested it in something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stashed it, put in some kind of fidelity, some kind of RA, something. I'm talking about the legal money she got, not that other money. That other money she spent that she wasn't supposed to be spending. Well, you know, hey, you gonna they gonna get that back. Government always get their money back. But anyway, I, you know, I feel for the city of Dalton because for the last I don't know what couple of years, man, they've had somebody who just from the outside looking in just ain't did the job. You know, they got you got people in the city that's that's on your council that's want to know where the money at. And you hollering about why you attacking me? Cause I'm black. I'm a victim here. But now the attorney general said, mm, you got a few days to show us where you spent this money or we coming for your head. So I hope you're ready, Sister, Sister Tiffany. I hope you're ready. Not Tiffany, is her name Tiffany? I forgot that quick, I'm getting old. Yeah, Tiffany, Sister Tiffany. But anyway, tell me what you think about this story. Leave your comments below and then share it with the world. Don't forget, MarlonMorelli.com for y'all your perfume, cologne, beard needs, etc. With that being said, I leave you in peace and I'll see you on the other side.